gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, Gold Hectic the Clowny, on behalf of Film Deviant. Dot com. <laughs> it's a great little website where we talk about horror movies and whatnot, and I am, yes, Ghoul Hectic the Clowny, one of the announcers, talking about a movie right now that I like to call The Tall Man. You know who else likes to call it The Tall Man? Netflix. Yeah, go check it out on Netflix. It's a great movie, directed by Pascal Langueur. He also directed martyrs which is a great horror movie very gory with an epic ending I, I recommend that movie and i also recommend this one the tall man yeah at first i was kind of iffy because it's jessica beale and uh you know she's seventh heaven but then i remembered oh texas chainsaw massacre she could do some horror all right so jessica beale's on there but it's probably a story about just a boogeyman that steals children well I was surprised. Yeah, it's not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like this crazy horror movie when it ended up being like a really amazing, awesome Lifetime movie. Lifetime movie? Weird. Have you ever seen a good Lifetime movie? Yes, they're all good. Sorta. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really watch them. I've seen one. Anyways, this movie starring Jessica Biel is one of those movies where... Every scene is like big and exciting and full of energy and then suddenly it has like a reveal. You know, it keeps setting you up then revealing, setting you up revealing and it's just so good at just pulling you into the story. It's just great filmmaking. So I recommend this movie. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It starts off with a bunch of statistics about missing children and it tells you a little bit about this town. It's like a coal mining town that there's no more money. The mines have run dry and there's no more money and it's a sad place to live. Everyone's just so like dirty and smelly looking. It's it's sad. It's poverty. It's a bummer. Anyway, so uh, it starts off with somebody giving birth and Jessica Beale's like a doctor at a clinic. And once that's all done, she goes home, only to find that somebody's kidnapped her kid! <gasps> this child that she had at her house is kidnapped, it's gone! So she goes chasing after whoever did it, and it ends up being this person, like, in a big hooded, roby thing, awesomeness, in a truck. And uh, Jessica Biel just, like, chases the car down, and there's, like, tons of action sequence moments where she's like being dragged by the car and she's scraping everything up and she's really fighting to get this child back and you could feel the how intense it is and an amazing thing about like that one scene where she's uh hanging onto the truck and trying to like break in and stuff um it, not just the fact that it's so intense and awesome but all the cinematography is very like smooth and like you know, just nice. It's just good. It's not like crazy, shaky, ah, horror movie. It's very, oh, done very well. I'm blocked very well. Anyways, so uh, after she breaks in, or she, the vehicle stops and a dog attacks her, and then she gets thrown into the back of the truck, and then the dog attacks her again, and she flips over the truck, and it's just a crazy action sequence. You, you feel bad for her. She, she lost her child, and then she goes back to the town, and then you realize this whole town's, like, plotting against her for some reason. And then she tracks down the person that took the child, and it ended up being the child's actual mother. And the whole time, this movie's just kind of, like, warping your reality. It's like, this is what I thought it was, then this is what it actually is. And then that's, that's the new, like, status quo. And then suddenly it grows again. It's like, yeah, she's evil, but now she's good. And the reality is changing and warping and I feel crazy and I want to throw up from being so excited. I don't, I can't explain it. I'm horrible at, at explaining this, right? So the whole time you think this movie's about like the boogeyman, but it's actually a very intelligent movie that's really just, um, it's a social commentary on society today. Something that I have always thought about after watching Idiocracy is that all the wrong people are having kids, right? And all the people that should be having kids are not. And this movie kind of touches upon that. I'm not going to give away any more. Just go watch it, especially during this Halloween season while you celebrate your Halloween season, right? Because I'm celebrating 31 days of Halloween. And um, I'm going to give this movie four and a half honks, right? One, two, three, four, and a halfy. I can't do the halfy. There's a happy. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gul Hectic the Clowny. 
make sure you follow me on everything. Read the description. I got some stuff. And um, let's do this Halloween season right, shall we? All right. Bye, guys. Yeah.